Hello and welcome to Parent Corner. My name is Shelby Simmons and I'll be your host for this session on preventing cyberbullying. For those of you who have children who are diagnosed with ADHD, are on the autism spectrum, or are very young, the idea of allowing your children online for school or to communicate with friends may be intimidating. In this session, you will learn some of the features of the most common operating systems and internet browsers that may help you keep your child safe and enable them to get the most out of their online experience. If your child can use standard tools like the computer keyboard and mouse effectively, then assistive hardware devices like a joystick or specialty keyboard are not necessary. When using a desktop or laptop computer featuring the Microsoft Windows operating system, there are several simple changes that your operating system or browser software can make to help your child get the most out of the Internet. First, you can have Microsoft Windows customize accessibility features. Start at your Start menu, click Control Panel, and under Ease of Access, here are some of the options for customization. There's also a brief walkthrough available through the Accessibility Wizard. In this version of Windows, you select Let Windows Suggest Settings. Second, the operating system will allow you to create user accounts, limit the amount of time your child spends on the computer, and what programs they can access. Go to your Start menu, select Control Panel, and you're going to access user accounts and family safety. For your child, especially if they have their own login, you'll want to set up parental controls. Next, let's head to an internet browser. A browser is a program like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome that gives you access to the internet. Most browsers have an address or search bar at the top and give you the opportunity to customize your experience, the things that you will see, hear, and be able to do on the websites you visit. In one of the most common browsers, Internet Explorer, you can adjust security settings and your start page by clicking the Tools icon in the upper right hand corner to access the Tools menu and click Internet Options. Once you have everything set up, now you have to figure out where to send your child online. This is a lot like selecting a place to play or to eat. You want some place clean and wholesome that provides what you and your children need. If your child has special needs, you will also need to be careful to see if the literal translation of the content or the quick scan version of the website will give your child the right impression. Once your child is comfortable, remain nearby to monitor his progress, answer questions, and resolve any issues. If you are letting your child access a social networking site or app, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or others, you should be actively involved in the setup. Know the password, the privacy settings, and make sure you set and maintain rules for access. Most sites do not allow children under the age of 13. However, children with special needs may function at an emotional level that is much younger than their actual chronological age. So make sure that they are ready for the speed and nature of social networking. CommonSenseMedia.org and our internet safety website, CCIS, CCSDTitle1.org have more information on this new digital lifestyle. The following websites have additional information on evaluating websites. The Title I office is located at 200B South Jeffries Boulevard, Walterboro, South Carolina, 29488, just behind the old CCSD Technology Building in the Floyd Buckner Title I Office and Parent Center. Come visit us during our normal business hours of 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Call or email us using or keep in touch via Facebook or Twitter using the information in our links. 
Thank you for watching our videos. Click the link to visit our YouTube channel if you would like to see more videos, and we hope to see you soon for an Uplift event.